name's Rob. I'm the one breaking up the boxes. The guy stacking them at the archway is Sue, my best pal. His real name is Luther. But if you call him that, you better be ready to fight. The reason we're doing this is because yesterday we played Indy 500 using a shopping cart in Mr. Simpson's parking lot. Soup made an unexpected pit stop and plowed right into Mr. Simpson just as he was carrying a carton of tomatoes. That's nothing unusual, because Soup's a real genius for getting us into trouble. Just be sure you have that aisle cleared by the time I get back. Look out, Mr. Simpson! Go, go, President? Mm, I don't know. Remember, just because you're Soup's campaign manager doesn't mean you have to vote for him. Yeah, I guess not. Hey, Norma Jean! Will you get that for us? That's Norma Jean Bissell, the prettiest girl in school. Don't tell Soup this, but I'm kind of sweet on her. And as of now, I don't know who to vote for, her or Soup. I think that's what they mean by being caught in the middle. Come on, guys, let's go. Right here. Robbie, did I ever tell you you were the cutest boy at school? I am? You really mean it, Norma Jean? Or is that just politics? I really mean it, Robbie. Rob, come on, will ya? I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Quick for AJ! Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Hey, Rob, get Norma Jean's campaign manager is the toughest kid in school, Janice Riker. Just a little reminder, Rob. You are voting for my candidate, Norma Jean Bissell, for class president, aren't you? Aren't you? Something tells me I'm just not cut out for politics. Janice. Montana is a state in the United States, yeah. Yeah. which is on the continent of North America. Afghanistan is on the continent of Asia. It is bordered on the north by Russia and on the west by Iran. Dear Rob, I know that Soup is your pal, but if you vote for me, I'll be more than a pal. I'll be your girlfriend. Love and kisses. Norma Jean Bissell. Then all of Texas and Oklahoma put together. What is in a love letter? No, it's about politics. Robert, what were you reading? Just a little note. You know how I feel about notes being passed in class. If it's important enough to interrupt our lesson, then it's important enough to share with everyone. Now you come right up here and read it aloud. To all of us. Do I have to now? Please do. Best pal. 
Is that all? Practically. You wouldn't want to hear the rest, would you? Every word. Dear Rob, you already read that part. Dear Rob, you. Read it already. Louder. Yeah, louder. Give it to me, Robert, and I will read it out loud. You can't. I, I... Robert, you have a choice. You may read the note aloud, or you may stay after school three days this week and clean the erasers and the blackboards. I'll take the blackboard and the erasers. Very well. <laughs> Women are nothing but trouble. Maybe, but this one's worth it. This is crazy, Sue. Painting your name in Old Man Sutter's barn? What if he catches us? Don't worry, we're safe. He always takes a nap this time of day. Just think of this as freedom of speech. Did you get the brownies? Yep. My mom baked up two big pans full. I stored them in a kitchen closet in the cafeteria. Every kid in the class will get one. Compliments of soup for president. Are you my best pal, aren't you? You know I am. Then why were you walking Norma Jean Bissell home from school the other day? She's not only my opponent, she's a girl. Since when did you start liking girls? I don't like girls. Just like Norma Jean. You're not going to vote for her over me, are you? No. Maybe. Come on, hurry up. Hey, watch it! Hurry up, I don't want to be late for the rally. I ran out of room. Now the P looks like an F. Yeah, it looks like soup. See if you can fix it. Old man Shutter had a farm. E -I -E -I Sutter, I thought you said he was taking a nap. I don't know, maybe he sings in his sleep. Quick, hide somewhere. Where? On the roof, hurry! Old man Shutter had a farm. Next for me, you had some beat. E-I-E-I-O. With an oink-oink here and an oink-oink there. Here an oink there. Ah! My barn! What in tarnation? Who did this? Come out, you. You, you, you come out, you, you, you soup. If I ever catch you, soup, whoever you are, I'm going to have your hide. Ah, doggone kids. I don't know what this world's coming to. Painting all over a man's barn. He took the ladder. Now what are we gonna do? Follow me, I think there's a way out of this. There we are, home free. You go first. Come on, come on, as you wait. Get on up there, lady. Way to go. Come on, let's go. That's it, ladies. Get on in there. Get on in. That's it. <laughs> ah! Oh! We're gonna miss the rally. Let's get out of here. That burnt tailgate. to get you right away. This way, car. She's as sweet as these brownies. Norma Jean's got my vote. <laughs> these brownies were a great idea. Mm. It was nothing, Norma Jean. Uh. Wait till you taste my pot. Oh. I can't believe it. Janice found my brownies 
And she's passing them out. That's really low. That's worse than Watergate. Where are you going? We're gonna get even with Janice. And win back some lost folks. Back at Janice, not no Jean. And so when you go to vote the day after tomorrow, remember to vote for me, Norma Jean Bissell. Yeah! I'll be right back with some punch. <laughs> this rally in the first place, Janice. Yeah, Janice. And these are my brownies you guys are eating. Janice, where did you get those brownies? I snuck up on Soup when he was hiding them, and I remember where he put them. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. 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 But I made the punch, honestly. Janice is right. She is responsible for the punch. Yeah. Come and get it, come on. All right. <laughs> Compliments of Norma Jean Bissell for class president. Drink up, everybody. Ugh, that was awful. Oh, it's sour. The worst punch I've ever had. The punch is good. I just tasted it a few minutes ago. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with this punch. Jess, are you all right? <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Kelly. Me and Soup are gonna confess to Mr. Sutter and repaint his whole barn. I gotta admit what we did was kinda dumb. It was a dumb thing to do, Robert. But at least you realize it and you're going to make things right. You know, I have done some dumb things in my time, too. You? Never. Sit down, Robert. The other day in class, when I asked you to read a personal note out loud to everyone, I did a dumb thing. I'm rather ashamed of myself, and I apologize. You do? Yes, I do. Do you forgive me? Sure. Good. Despite my being petty and unthoughtful, you were noble and acted with honor. You mean like Ivanhoe? Very much like Ivanhoe. You know, Miss Kelly, even though I do hate Choctaws, it still wasn't a hard decision. You know, Miss Kelly, I'm kind of sweet on Norma Jean. I think she likes you too, Robert. It must be a very hard decision for you, your best friend running against your sweetheart. Tell you the truth, I still know who I'm going to vote for. I really want Norma Jean to be my girl. But I just don't know how to express myself. How do I tell her? Girls are impressed by poetry and music. When poetry's out, I'm not very good at rhyming. And I don't sing very good. I don't sing very well. You neither, huh? Boy, we'd make a lousy duet. Robert, in my day, what impressed a girl the most was courting. Courting? That must have been a hundred years ago. Robert. On the contrary, it is still being practiced today. Miss Kelly, if you were talking to Norma Jean right now, what would you tell her? Well, I would tell her this. Never give your heart to a boy. 
unless he sings beneath your window. Sings beneath your window. Did Ivanhoe and Sir Lancelot do that? Absolutely. They were very adept at it. Well, Miss Kelly, you convinced me. I'm going to practice up my singing, and then I'm going to sing under Norma Jean's window. When do you think I should do it? After you and Soup have painted the barn. Right. And we're going to get that done as soon as possible. You know, Miss Kelly, if you weren't my teacher, you'd be my second best friend. That is very sweet, Robert. Thank you. So, was Miss Kelly real mad when she found out about us doing this? No, she was pretty nice. Um, Sue, you know any good songs I could sing? What do you want to sing a song for? Um, well, you never know when Miss Kelly might ask me to sing a song in class or something. Trouble is, I don't know any good songs. My dad once taught me a neat song. I think I can still remember the words. What's all this talking when you boys are supposed to be working? You're both lucky I didn't take you to my woodshed. Yes, Mr. Sutter. And make sure you cover that spot, you hear me, Sue? And the whole thing needs another coat. Yes, sir. I'm getting tired of this, Sue. We're almost finished anyway. Let's take a break. Good idea. badly. She's probably long gone by now. We're gonna pay her back for this if we have to wait till we're in college to do it. What's this? More politicking? What are you two? Nuts or something? Honest, Mr. Sutter, we didn't do it. We'll clean it up right away, Mr. Sutter. Y you wouldn't even know it's there. I hurry up about it, you hear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Janice Riker's a baboon. She's not even smart enough to be a baboon. Baboon, huh? Look who's talking. You two dummies are up there, and I'm down here. And what do you know? She came out of her cave. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny, Rob, huh? Tell me, Rob, who are you voting for tomorrow for class president? Janice, it's none of your famous way of voting for you. If you don't vote for Norma Jean Bissell, I'll... Our new class president is 
Luther Vincent. Yeah! Thanks a lot, Rob. You're the best campaign manager in the world. And the best pal. You deserve it, Sue. Tell me the truth, Rob. How close did you come to voting for Norma Jean? Well, I came pretty close, but I knew deep down inside I had to vote for my best pal. Thanks. Yeah. There's one thing I don't understand, though. What's that? If there's an equal amount of boys and an equal amount of girls, and all the girls voted for Norma Jean and all the boys for you, it should have been a tie. Unless it... I'll bet that's it. It's got to be it. Yeah. What? What's it? Where are you going? I'll explain later. Norma Jean! A question. Are you the girl who voted for soup? Yeah. I voted for soup because I didn't want to see you lose, Robbie. You went through so much to get soup elected and that mess with Mr. Sutter and all. And you didn't read my note in class. I'll never forget that. I really wanted to vote for you, but in the end, I had to be loyal to soup. I understand. And that's what I like about you. You're a true friend. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we will fight our country's battle on the land in air or sea. What are you doing? I'm courting you by singing under your window. Don't you like it? It's terrific. I'll write down. First to fight for rights and freedom, then to keep our honor clean. We are proud to wear the title of United States Marine. I never thought I wanted to be with any other person more than Sue. Boy, was I wrong. Don't make a face before you taste it. Some kids think it's great. Why don't you try a smorgasbord dinner? Which means a smidgen of this and a smidgen of that. Don't knock it till you try it. Eating can be fun. With little bites of different things instead of lots of one. Don't quibble till you nibble a dabble or a dibble of everything that's on your plate and then go back and eat the things you like again.